Welcome back to another video, another ink stitch video. I'm going to take you from downloading an image from the internet and turning that image into an embroidery file. When you're downloading images from the internet, you got to be careful. You got to make sure that whatever the copyright is allows you to do so. If you're doing something for your baby or you're not selling it, you're going to do a one-off. It's not that big a deal. If you're going to make patterns to sell or you're going to put those patterns on t-shirts to sell, you got to be careful. In this case, this is a CC0. Where'd it go? CC0. That is basically no copyright. It has been released to the public domain that it can be used for whatever you ever want to use it for. In this case, the uh, they want to be attributed and uh, that's fine larry ewing thank you garrett lesage thank you simon butage maybe i said that right probably not uh, thank you guys for releasing this into the public domain absolutely so with that being said i have inkscape running i'm going to switch over to document properties real quick make a four by four inch this is US inch made it four by four inch going to import that particular image I usually just go to faults. It's a little too big. So I'm gonna scroll out. I can see the whole thing I've already got it highlighted. I'm gonna click that little lock button so that it keeps the, per, the proper perspective Scroll that in So the first thing I'm gonna do now that we have that, we need to go up here. We need to do a trace bitmap. The one that I like here lately for more complicated images like this, multi-scan color. I'm going to hit update. I'm probably going to take the default. Yeah, eight's good. Eight's default. I'm going to go back to eight. Hit OK. Boom. Drag that off. That's my bitmap. Delete the one that's underneath. Put this over here where I wanted it. Boom. We are done with that part. So the next part, now that we have it highlighted, I'm going to run down here to fill in stroke. Make sure this second to last icon is selected, not the last one. You'll thank me later. Go to extensions, ink stitch, fill tools, break apart. Hit apply. While it's running, have a sip of coffee. It is 7.30 at night and I'm drinking a cup of coffee. <laughs> All right. That's done. I'm going to go ahead and do an ink stitch uh, troubleshoot cleanup documents. And all that's going to do is get rid of anything small fill. Nine elements of small fill removed. Be careful when you do that because sometimes you'll remove your whole image or a big piece of your image. If that's the case, hit Control Z, Control Z, depending on where you're from, and you can undo that and then do something else. All right, hit Control Zoom in, and I've got a couple of spots I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of that, so I'm just going to delete it. And then to fix the hole, I'm going to select the boundary around it. Select my tool icon. I'm going to highlight all of these and select this little node right here. It says delete nodes. It's gone. Just like that. All right. I'm going to show you a really neat trick. I figured this out by accident. So if I try to get all these, I might accidentally get that node, which won't hurt anything, but check this out. Instead, I'm going to select that node, push control, and then mouse wheel up. Now watch those little dots grow as they get selected. Up selects more, down selects less. I figured that out by accident. Neat little trick. Delete. Nice. And we're going to do that again. Right here. 
I'm going to control select that node and then I'm going to mouse wheel up until all of those nodes are selected. Hit delete. Nice. Uh, actually, hold on. I need to delete. I need to delete that first. Okay. Now I can do that think yeah I can get all those without worrying about it go back to select I want to get that one out select and mouse wheel up and we'll select all of the nodes hit delete and while we're on that body I want to hit black just to make sure it's black this one I'm going to select. This is my main body here. I'm going to select white. I'm going to select that one and delete it. And then I'm going to select that. Let's scroll in. Swirl that around to get them all and hit delete. Nice. So this little shadow area here, I'm not going to remove it. But I am going to make it white so it just blends right in. Uh, let's see. This shadow, this selection here, I want that to be white. Same thing over here. I want that one to be white. Wrong one. Control Z. Scroll in a little more. Let's select that. Hit that white. All right, with that done, I want to get some of this out of here. That one's that piece is already gone. This is a nice little spot right here. That's a big hole. I want to flatten that out. So I'm just going to select that like that. Hit delete. Pull these back around. I'm going to scroll in so I can see better what I'm doing here. Okay. Turn that snapping off. When you get to these little minute details, that snapping's a pain in the butt. Okay. That'll work. So what I want to do now, I do want to get rid of that. So I'm going to select the eye and make it white. And select that eye and make it white. Select that. Hit delete. And if you can't see it good enough, I know you can't see it on what you're doing now. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to make it a color. Let's make it red. So that's going to be the white of the eye. Pull some of these around. Doesn't have to be perfect. When you're doing this on your own, you can get it a whole lot closer than what I'm doing here in a video. Otherwise, my video is probably going to be about three hours long. So I'm just showing you the basics. And then you can go into the major details on your own. And a little bit of space. I'm going to select these and get rid of that little bunch of nodes. And get rid of the little draw lever by pushing this select the node select that and then we get rid of the little draw handles sometimes they're handy sometimes they're not so that eyeball is done i'm going to select white let's go in here and do the same thing with this other one and i already made it white i think yep so get rid of that i'm going to do the same thing give that some color so that you can see it Let's go in here and edit. Drag these up. Dragged that one too far, didn't I? Dragged. Did you hear that? Tennessee's coming out in me. Dragged that one too far. Fur. Huh? All right. Yep, that's good. And go back to white. And... I'm going to do the same thing basically in here. I want 
the yellow of that to be harvest gold. Yes. I'm going to delete those, that one and that one. Then we're going to delete this little circle. And we're going to pull these this way. whole bunch of little nodes hiding underneath little nodes. Did you notice that? I wonder if you noticed that. But it worked out good. All right. I like it. I also want to make this piece down here the same yellow. And then that piece. I don't know. I don't have a pre-made color for that, I don't think. That's pretty close. Yeah, I guess light brown works. And then make that one also the light brown so that they kind of blend together. I'm not going to magic them into one like I have some of the other ones. Uh, that's pretty good. And last thing, I think I'm going to come down here. I want that to be that same harvest gold. Same harvest gold. Same harvest gold. Same light brown. Let's go over here. I want that to be the harvest gold. Scroll in. Harvest gold. Nope. Wrong one. That's fine. That one's going to be the brown. And then... Harvest gold. Excellent. Oh, let's do the eyes here. Uh, they've already been removed, so I need to do that. Do this little magic trick. Hit delete. Make that eye solid. Same thing here. Select that. Mouse wheel up with the magic. Delete. Boom. We have a finished piece. And like I said, I did a really rough, quick, super quick little thing. Make sure that's the same black as that. Make sure that that black is the same as that black and that black. Uh, those whites and that should be it. Okay, that should be it. Let's give a troubleshoot. Ink stitch troubleshoot. All valid. Let's give us a little run, a little preview run, and see what we look like. The colors are a mess. I'll show you how to join them up. Let's go ahead and speed through this. Oh, and I have a background. I don't want the background on there, which is easy. The background is almost always the very bottom object. Yep. See how that size changes? Because if that background isn't there, then the size... <coughs> Excuse me. If the background isn't there, then the size is the size of the actual image. So I'm just going to highlight it, delete it. Background's gone. That's easy. Uh, I did notice that this little piece, this little piggy, is a different color. So let's just fix that real quick. And then this little piggy, I'm going to go ahead and make that the harvest yellow. Okay. So that and that. So now show you how to really easily join all those colors up select one of them like the background black edit uh, select same fill color right click on that fill color in the objects group do the same thing with the 
you know, control click and get that yellow. I'm going to do the same thing with it. Select same fill color. That gives me all of the yellows and group. Do the same thing with this little brown color. Edit. Select same fill color and right click group. And the white should be all I have left. Click the white. Edit. Select same color and group that leaves this which is that so we're going to delete that we're going to fix that white so that it comes around give me a color so that i can see what i'm doing i'm going to delete a few of these that just a little bit unnecessary and redundant I'm going to select that click select that so i've got both of them oh, it didn't work so select that click that come on now give me that one select that it's not gonna work am i trying to select too many there we go uh, i'm gonna select that one and that one and delete those as well Zoom in a little further. Delete that one. And delete that one. Make that a straight line. Oh, I hate it when I do that. Okay. Make that one a straight shot too. So that fixes that. Let's go back to our white color. And since we have four groups, we have four colors, everybody's in a proper group. So now, let's see what this one is. That one is yellow. I want black, which is that one. So I'm going to drop black all the way down because I want black to be first. And then that makes yellow and white and gold. So... Hard to see that white change do anything, but yeah, I think I want I want white to be next. So I'm gonna drop that white layer down too. And then I want the yellow next, and then I want the highlight gold. So it should be good. Ink stitch. Let's see a simulate. Much better absolutely much better let's speed this up along see how it comes out not too shabby that's not bad all right now i can do some linux c linux writing here somewhere and that's it thanks for watching